What's up guys, Seattle Gamer here, back with some more Realm of the Mad God. In the last video, we leveled up our Huntress to level 20, which was very exciting, and we unlocked some new characters. In this video, we are playing as a Necromancer, as was requested by T-Dog1974. I remember it's T-Dog something, the numbers might not be right. But anyways, they requested that we try out the Necromancer, which is also one that I have never played before. So this will be exciting to see exactly what this character does. And so far it's a lot like, and we're already level two, the wizard, which is great because I like playing the wizard. We also had a question in the last video, what server I play on, I am on US West because I live in Colorado. So US West is usually where I play. Although sometimes I just click choose the best server and let it choose for me so also somebody answered my question on how to fuse your pets you go to the back of the pet yard and there's a little thing that says fuse pets unfortunately I was unable to do so because I need to level up my pet yard first see I can shift click that yes because I need to level up my pet yard first and unfortunately, you need 500 fame to do so. I only have 436. So, when we level this character up to level 20... Nice, I need a new staff. When we level this character up to level 20, we will um, keep doing our fame in order to try and unlock the new pet yard so we can fuse together the new pet. And I believe the fuse costs like 100. So we'll actually need 600. Uh, 500 for the for the upgraded pet yard and 100 for the fuse. So, but I'm I'm interested to see what we'll get. It's two low leveled uh, cats felines. So I'm assuming we'll get another feline of a slightly higher level. But I guess I guess we'll see. We don't really need two white cats, honestly. So let's kill this. Oh, that's apparently what our thing does. I'll have to read that in a second. If I remember right, Necromancer has like lifesteal. It'd be really cool if you could, you know, like uh, raise the dead or something to fight with you for a little bit. I already have that staff. It's a very pretty staff. It just is not very good. Speaking of things that are good, as you can see, I'm using T8 robes and a T3 ring of superior magic, which were things that I had stashed away. Oh God, this is not where we want to be. Okay. I am level three, which is way too early to be trying to fight Oryx. So no thank you. We are trying to level up here, not die instantaneously. Also, you will notice that I do not have a double experience points potion any longer. We used up the last one with the previous character, which is fine. That just means we will probably take probably three episodes to level this guy up instead of two. But that's all right. I know you guys like longer episodes or more episodes, so think of it as a way to have more episodes. I think you guys will be fine with that, hopefully. All right. Oh, yeah. What does this do? Steals 25 HP within two and a half squares. All right, let's kill this thing. And all of his children. That just sounds horrible. We're gonna kill this this guy and all of his children. Your lineage, it will disappear. All right. I also wanna thank you guys for emailing me with questions, or not questions, with answers to my questions. Um, I was not actually on the internet pretty much all last week because it was Christmas, so I wasn't able to respond. I'm going to respond to some emails that you guys sent out to me as well. I really appreciate you guys helping me out, um, trying to get me better at the game. And hopefully when I get better, that means that the episodes will be better and it will be more entertaining for you guys to watch as well. That's the, the, the end goal here. So I really appreciate your guys' help and your guys' support on that role as well. So... see we are almost level four let's let's start heading our to our quest I think that sounds like a good idea and I think I've accumulated enough potions uh, that's why I was staying in this area unfortunately that means that we won't be getting any really nice staffs for a little while that's all right so our next quest is the bandit leader which appears to be right here pretty close 
All right. We won't be getting the don't kill the cubes thing. That's all right. I am fine with that. Oh, this. Right down here. Right down here. Run for it. Oh, did that, oh, that guy took our kill. Stole it right out from under our nose. That's all right. We're level four now. Might take four episodes the way we're going. We're kind of... Oh, yes, I will take the Comet Staff. Thank you. Kind of going at it a little bit slowly, but I don't really know this character well. Thankfully, we have really good armor, so that should not be an issue. I mean, I don't think I've seen my health bar even decrease slightly. So, and we have a T2 staff. Slightly better than what we had. Not really that great still, but that's all right. So let's head this way. Excellent. I'm like, ooh, robes. Oh, wait, these all suck in comparison to what I have. All right. So a new skull and or a new staff would be much appreciated game. We do have a nice ring. I think I already said that. Oh, a goblin mage. Let's go up here. Must be in close. There it is. That should have weakened it significantly. Yeah. I really don't feel bad about standing in place, honestly. And we are now level five. Oh, next one seems to be up here in this direction. I'm not quite sure what it is. We'll see when we get there. Probably another goblin mage. Yep, I was right. So, yeah, I, I have such high armor for these little weaklings that it doesn't even matter. Yep, all right. So what level do we want to head to the Godlands? We've been doing 15 lately, so I think we probably can do like 10. That might be pushing it, and I would feel really bad if a stupid mistake like that killed us. So that may or may not be a smart thing to do. There we go. What did we get? Nothing good. Would be nicer if we had an arrow class. It's only a T1, though. Eh, not worth it. I was going to say, I could grab it and store it, but, eh. Let's kill this thing. What is that thing, anyways? I'm not even sure. I have yet to learn the names of all the monsters. I recognize them all now, at least. At least most of them. There we go. But we're slowly getting better. We also need to figure out what we want to do once this series is done once we've unlocked everything i mean that was kind of the end goal of this series we only have three more by leveling 20 that will unlock one more character and then we need to do a level 20 assassin which will unlock the other two so we're almost almost there i mean what five more episodes no six i'm gonna go with probably six more episodes as long as we don't die and we should be having everything unlocked. So let me know kind of what you guys feel we should do after that. Should we do stupid stuff like rush the Godlands at level one and see how long we can last or if we can get up to level 20? That's always fun. Uh, we could also just try really, really hard not to die and do stupid things uh, like I normally do when I play this game. But then again, my aim was only to get to level 20, not necessarily to increase to a lot of fame or anything. So, uh, I don't feel too bad about it since... Oh, yes. I'll take that. Thank you. All right. It looks like it's slightly larger. I didn't get to read it because I was getting attacked from all angles, even though it doesn't really do much to us. What's this? I'll take that. Thank you. Looks like a swarm of flies. Oh, just swarm is next. Guess I don't need that anyways. Should we head towards the swarm? What's that? That's our old one. What does this do? 45 within two and three quarters squares. So slightly more range and almost double the amount of health that we're stealing. Magic um, is depleting quite a bit here, unfortunately though. This guy should be fairly simple to kill. There we go. Oh, the trees will be nasty to us. Cat doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's see. We're going to go to here. Okay. 
was like, oh god, we're gonna die, but we didn't, which is awesome. Swarm in this general direction, all right. Sounds like I should be swarming in this general direction. That's the way I read it, huh? That's all right. Speaking of Reddit, I like Reddit, although there's people on there that, eh. But there are some subreddits that are really nice, like the Let's Play subreddit. Always a lot of quality people on there. So, pretty good content as well, generally. Good place to, to hang out. Let's, let's just quest with these guys for a while. That sounds like a, a good plan. I know I usually solo this to some degree, but this game is massive in multiplayer and online, and it's meant to be played with multiple people, so you might as well. There we go. Ooh, that was an interesting looking bow there. I don't think I've seen that one. Oh, it's the ironwood bow. There we go. We got snow. Eh, no. Actually. There we go. Yeah. Ooh. That's an interesting glitch. Well, all right then. Let's see, there's some more stuff here. There's a lot of people over there too. Are we nearing the godlands? It would appear so. Come on, come on, yes. Now I'm just gonna lead you around in a circle because you have a hard time hitting me like that. And there we go, kill that thing too. There should be a second one down here. I'm wondering why that didn't give us a quest completed. That was our quest, wasn't it? The Horn Drakes? This this is a quest. It's on my quest menu. So, somebody rep also replied back to get fame once you are level 20 to complete quests. So that is what we'll be doing. Not quite sure if I'm gonna be doing that on camera or off, just because this is basically me just trying to unlock everything as of right now and that doesn't qualify, but you know, just let me know. You know, I can do it on camera if you guys want. Maybe do some bonus episodes or something. Just killing gods in the godlands. If that is what you guys want to see, just let me know. And like I said, you know, once we're done unlocking these, also let me know what you guys want to see as well. So, yeah, let's kill your little buddy too. Get back here. You can't run away from me. Oh, well, apparently you can. There we go, level eight. And we're pretty much almost done with this episode. So I'm going to assume four episodes per character now. It was two at double XP, so that would make sense that we'd be doing four now. God Lance. Excellent. Nice Englishing. So, let's see. Not quite sure if I prefer the wizard or the necromancer. The wizard, I feel, does more damage, but the necromancer has some, what's this guy, Dex. My name is not Dex, I'm not a phone book. I feel like the lifesteal in this one might be useful, uh, especially for someone like me who dies a lot, but I don't know, we'll see. We will see. I've also been toying with the idea of making this twice a week, just because you guys seem to love it so much. So I'm thinking about it, we'll, we'll see. It all depends on scheduling, just because I work full time and then do this at nights once my kids are in bed. Come back here, you're not allowed to run away. It's not allowed, there we go. Level eight, halfway to level nine, all right. Looks like Horn Drake. Plenty of horn drakes in this area, guys. I hate these, they're so fast. Let's kill that thing. Oh, it's all the woodland creatures. If I remember right, those things run into you and explode. Particularly nasty creatures, they can be sometimes if you have really low health. Yep, see, they explode. Into like fire, they're fiery exploders. I took that one the full front in my face. All right. They're actually doing some damage to me now, which is surprising. That's all right. You know, level eight armor or T8 is fairly nice, but it's, you know, not by any means the best armor you can get in the game or anything. 
It's just for having a, a level 8 character, it's fairly decent. So, it's not like I could just run around and take damage forever and not die, I suppose. People who think that are just fooling themselves. There we go. I would like a uh, higher level staff, though. That would be nice. I think that's next on my wish list. Speaking of wish list, I hope you guys had a good holiday. Ooh. I thought it was a frame rate uh, drop, and I thought, oh, maybe we're headed to Orc's Castle, but it was neither. It's just my eyes playing tricks on me. All right. Yes. I will steal all of the lives. Ooh. Also, I need to aim, apparently. You know, that, that's one of the things that might come in handy every once in a while. There we go. Yeah. Level 9. We're almost halfway there. You know, let's see if we can get to level 10 on this episode. I think we'll be in pretty good shape. There we go. Another Horn Drake. Assuming that's actually probably not our quest anymore. Although, yes, it is our quest. Never mind. I stand corrected. I'm gonna bring you over here. This seems to be working out pretty well. Come on. Get your butt over here. Stop hiding in that tree. Come on. Alright. These trees are annoying me. I seem to be dodging behind them a lot. There we go. Quest complete. Excellent. And we're the third away to level 10. I'm going to get to level 10, and that'll be the end of this episode, guys. So, what better than expected? I was assuming we'd get somewhere closer to level, like, 6 or 8. Oh, that's two orcs castle in one episode. I think that actually just means, and that's a weird glitch, that this is just a great place to stop. Uh, yeah, someone else can enjoy that. All right, level 9, halfway to level 10. Uh, really huge frame drops there. That's a crappy staff. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a comment. Talk about some of the things that I talked about in this episode. What do you guys want to see after we are done leveling up all of our characters here? And also kind of where you want to go with, with these videos. Um, if you want to see them twice a week or something. Uh, I did have some people ask for that, so let me know in the comments down below. Love you guys. I'll see you guys later.